65 points, now the margin. But in a game of runs, which we've seen ISL 2020 become, gets to be a whole lot better potentially for Toronto. Now this could be where they make their move and try to counter back as they go on the offense with Kylie Moss and Lisa Bratton, who have been very good in this event. Yeah, they certainly have. Another great heat of some strong swimmers. Moss, who had, was so brilliant, leading off Toronto's 400 medley relay yesterday with a 56-2, quicker than anybody else in the field. In fact, nobody even broke 57, so you'd have to consider her the favorite. Lisa Bratton, her teammate, won the 200 backstroke yesterday, so you have to think that Toronto is loaded in this event, although you do have Seabom in there and a couple others. Yes, Seabom checks in. ISL sixth rated swimmer. Moss, the ISL third rated swimmer, and Lisa Braddon. And Kylie Moss leading the way is one of 10 Canadians on the Titans, the current world record holder in this event. She was out of the water for 122 days, but I don't think that we have seen her miss a beat, Rowdy. Not a chance. Moss, you might remember, was the bronze medalist in this event back at Rio in the Olympic Games. Her lifetime best is 56 flat. She was close to that yesterday. Seabom actually has the fastest time at 55.3, the only swimmer to break 56, she's fifth all time. Well, Seabom's right to the inside with the red cap, but in the gold cap in the middle, it's gonna be Kylie Moss, the leader halfway home, and she's built almost a half a second lead over Seabom and Shores for the Boy. New York Breakers. Yeah, she was faster there than she was on the relay when she went 56-2. She was 26-9 on the way out. She was 27-2 yesterday. She's in for a good one. Yeah, Kylie Moss, a big reason why she is going to swim. The backstroke skins. Oh, Seabom trying to pressure her down the stretch, but easily it's going to be Kylie Moss getting the win for Toronto. They're on top for the first time today, and it is going to be a jackpot win for Kylie Moss. 15 points going to Moss, six points for a teammate. So in total, Toronto scores. 21 points in the 100 backstroke. Uh, just a nice swim for Toronto from a team perspective. Moss gets first, Bratton gets third. She charged home and went by a lot of people at the end to grab third. And a really nice job for Seabomb. She kind of bounced back from yesterday's, not necessarily disappointing. She was 57 flat, but she was faster here. But so was Moss, 56-1. The best time in history she's ever been was four years ago. Again, 56-02. She's right on it. Oh, Toronto outscoring Energy by 10 points, so that will make the 65-point advantage. Now 55-point advantage is Kylie Moss.